Boating. It is certainly huge here in the Sunshine State. Florida leads the nation, in fact, with nearly 1 million registered vessels. So it means a lot of boaters on the water out there a lot of the time, and it means a lot of opportunities as well for accidents. That's right. As part of National Safe Boating Week, WPTV News Channel 5's John Shaman went out with Florida Fish and Wildlife officers this afternoon who shared some important safety advice. In 2020, Florida had 836 boating accidents, more than two a day, and a 16% increase from last year. The waters can be congested. Officer Tyson Matthews with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission says as we head into Memorial Day weekend, it's important for boaters to have a plan every time they go out on the water. File a float plan with somebody by simply telling them where you're going and what time you'll return. Boaters need to remember there's a lot of required safety equipment that they need on their vessel at all times. Perhaps nothing more important than your life jacket. We recommend that everybody wears this while they're on board because you never know when an accident is going to happen. One life jacket for every person on board, and there are different sizes of life jackets based on weight. Boats also need a sound producing device, or you need a whistle, plus a Coast Guard approved floating ring. This is a what we call a throwable device. If you're going offshore, a flare is a must. There's also the option of wearing a personal locator beacon, which can release a signal for help if you're thrown from a boat. It's a tool that will potentially save your life or someone else's. He's throwing a wake behind his boat. Out on the so intracoastal, two young boaters we were going too here. fast, prompting this stop. Our aim today is to really educate and inform you on what's going on this time of year. One was completing his captain's Perfect, course, so you. they had all the appropriate safety gear. You want to know where everything is on your boat at all times, even if something goes wrong, then you always want to know where you can access it. Like on the roads, FWC says it's important to share the water and to be aware of other boaters, manatees, and to look out for dive flags. And remember, any boat operator born after January 1st, 1988 needs to have a boater safety card. Out on the Intracoastal, John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.